key, key DNA evidence is allowed in the trial of the accused Gilgo Beach serial killer, it will be a first for New York. A lab used the technology to link hairs on several of these murdered women to Rex Hewerman. Carolyn Gussoff was in court today where the founder of that lab testified. University of California scientist Dr. Richard Green founded Astrea Forensics, a lab that claims it can extract DNA from even the most degraded samples, including hair with no root. That's the kind of hair found on belts and tape used to bind six of Rex Uerman's seven alleged victims. Green is no stranger to breakthroughs. He extracted DNA from ancient Neanderthal bones 15 years ago. He told the court it is now widely accepted science, but admitted his lab is not yet accredited. Auditors are very backed up. If allowed, it would be a first for New York. They are the people, the only people in that courtroom that their DNA is led to be on victims of homicide victims of a serial killer. Hewerman's ex-wife and daughter were in court concerned, say their attorney, about alleged Suffolk corruption at the time the evidence was collected. Asa has said from the beginning, from the beginning, she does not believe Rex the men she married and the father of her children was capable of committing these crimes. Hewerman's attorney has hammered scientific experts who stand by it. What's novel about whole genome sequencing is it can use degraded fragments to determine the likelihood a sample came from one person. Cold Spring Lab human genetic scientist Dick McCombie says the science has improved exponentially. Basic method that people used to amplify DNA was actually invented in the mid 1980s, but it's just gotten better and better how that's applied and uh, made it so much easier to obtain and sequence minute samples. Green told the judge law enforcement has referred hundreds of cases to his lab and that Suffolk County alone has spent $130,000 on the Gilgo cases. In Riverhead, Long Island, Carolyn Gossoff, CBS News, New York.